Hey guys, thanks for tuning in this week. Today we are doing crab cakes and a spicy remoulade sauce. My usual camera guy is in a meeting right now, but I got this neat little uh, harness, harness right here that will let me cook hands-free. So I'm going to strap you into that and we'll get started. You'll get a first-hand look of what I see whenever I'm cooking everything. So let's go ahead and flip you around and we'll get started. First off, we need to saute some onions and peppers for our crab cake. So we're gonna start off by chopping our onion. I got half of a red onion here. You need about a fourth of a cup. Um, I'm gonna cut this a little bit of a fine dice on it just so that way, you know, we don't have giant chunks of onion in our crab cakes. This cutting with the harness is a little harder than, uh, than I expected, but you know, we'll, We'll get through it. I only got a couple things I need to chop up, so it'll be all right. Try and make sure that you all get a good visual of what I'm doing and I don't chop off my fingers. So we are chopping up our onion here. Turn it down once it gets to the point where you know you don't feel comfortable holding it. Give it a little bit of chop like that. And we'll go ahead and use that. We're going to go ahead and put our burner on. So that way when our onions and peppers are all cut up, we are ready to go. I got two baby bell peppers here. Uh, we're just going to dice those up as well. You can just do half of a regular bell pepper. So we're going to cut the tops off that, cut it in half lengthwise. Cut this bad boy into some strips. And then we are going to turn it and dice it. Do the same thing with this half. Uh, if you're using a regular bell pepper, make sure you take out the seeds and the core. If you're using these baby bell peppers like me, you'll be all right if you get a little bit of that core in there or some seeds because they're not nearly as mature. But, you know, we'll kind of just take that out of that one. Again, we'll take this one, cut it into some strips. Cut. I'll, cut, I'll take the core out of this one just to be safe because it's, you know, there's a lot of it there. So bye-bye core. And cut this into strips as well. Making sure not to cut my fingers. All right. Give these a turn. Chop them up just like we did the, the purple onion. Uh, again, we're doing crab cakes with a spicy remoulade sauce. And we're just chopping up some onions and peppers real quick to saute to go into our crabby patties. You can use, you know, whatever color bell pepper you like, red, yellow, green, purple, variegated. Uh, again, with the onion, we I have purple onion here, so we went ahead and used that. You could use white, yellow, or sweet pepper, or white, yellow, or sweet onion. We're going to add a little bit of oil to our pan here. And then we're going to add our onions and peppers to it. So they are nice, nice chopped onions and peppers. Everything's in our nice hot pan here. Sorry for it being a little shaky. We're trying out this harness because my camera guy's in a meeting. So yeah, those onions and peppers are looking good. We're going to, while this is sauteing, we're going to do up a little bit of our crab cake mix as well. I need two tablespoons of parsley, so I got a nice, nice bunch of parsley here. Instead of, you know, just plucking parsley off, I'm just going to hold the bunch here, and I'm going to just give a little bit of a chop. I need about two tablespoons, so we'll call that two tablespoons, and we'll save this bunch for something later. I'm just going to chop this all up. Uh, we're going to, yeah, if you're left-handed, this is what it looked like. Chopping left-handed. Sorry again for the bouncing, just trying to chop it a little bit. Uh, if you're not ambidextrous, please don't try that at home. I want everyone to keep their fingers. So we're going to go ahead and add this to our bowl. Here's our bowl. To our bowl, we're going to add a half cup of mayo. Boom. Uh, whatever kind of mayo you like, rather it be 
store-bought brand name doesn't matter we're going to do half cup of that we are getting it measuring through a heart through a camera is a little weird but you know we're we're going to get there going to go ahead and add that now we're going to do a half cup of sour cream wait sorry this is our crab cakes and our remy lod. We're doing half cup sour cream and our remy lod. Our Krabby Patties. Get a. Where are the ma three tablespoons of mayo? So I need to take some of this out of here and we'll save it for our remy lod sauce. <laughs> Make sure you read the recipes first, guys. So there is our mayo for that. We need one egg. Boom. That looks excellent crack it right inside Boop. throw the eggshell away we got a recipe right here so you can scroll down on our Facebook page a little bit and you'll get the recipe for what we're doing today we need a teaspoon of mustard uh, that's a teaspoon we got spicy brown you could use whatever kind you like a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce a little bit of Worcestershire sauce Love that stuff and everything. And then a half cup of breadcrumbs here. So we got our breadcrumbs. I'm just using regular Italian breadcrumbs. You could use plain breadcrumbs. You could use uh, panko. You could use fresh bread. We need a half cup of breadcrumbs. Uh, yep, that looks like a half cup to me. And we're going to add a little bit of garlic to our onions and peppers here. So I went ahead and I have some nice chopped garlic. Oop. Garlic's in there. Give everything a little bit of a toss. That's looking yummy. Uh, we want to saute this for a little bit. Then we're going to put it into the fridge. So that way we can uh, uh, let it cool down a little bit before we add you know, hot peppers and onions to cold uh, eggs, mayo, and crab. So through the power of magic, we have some pre-cooked onions and peppers here. Uh, this is, you know, same thing as I got cooking right here. Just went ahead and did it before the show so that way they could cool off a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add that. So we can take this stuff out of the pan so I can use it to cook some Krabby Patties here in a second. And I'll use that for my dinner later tonight. Mix in some taco meat and it will be fantastic. I'm gonna turn that down so we don't burn the place down while we're making up the rest of our crab cakes. So we got our egg, mayo, mustard, Worcestershire, breadcrumbs, onions, peppers, need a little bit of lemon juice, and it'll be ready to mix. Need about a teaspoon of lemon juice. We're going to mix this all up. I always mix up all the ingredients first before I mix in the crabs. That way we can make sure this is all well incorporated and mixed thoroughly. Then we'll add our crab at the end so we don't break up our crab too much because we want big chunks of crab, not you know little tiny things of crab. So our crab mixture is looking good. We have claw crab meat here. You can do lump crab meat. You could do a mixture of both, whatever, uh, whatever you like. Come on, add that right in there. We're going to get our second can of crab meat because we're going a little crabby today. And boop, that's in there as well. Make sure any of that runs away gets back into the pan. And now we're going to gently kind of break that up a little bit. And then start folding it in. So we got our, this is gonna be our crab mixture. I might have to add just a hair more mayo to this because the recipe calls for 12 ounces of crab meat and I got 16 because, you know, one can's only eight ounces. So we had to get a little extra crab. Whenever I did it last time, they had uh, bigger cans, I guess. 
So we are mixing this up. I'm going to add a little more mayo to this. Get it all incorporated. I think you might need just a hair more mayo. Mayo is a great binder for stuff. So we got, we'll get that all incorporated. And you, you can let this sit in the fridge for, you know, 20 or 30 minutes before you cook it to kind of let everything congeal together and it'll be good. But we're going to go ahead and start cooking these bad boys up. So I'm going to put my pan over medium high heat. So we got medium high. I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil to the pan here. Again, it might be a little more than a tablespoon, but we're frying crab cakes, so we want, want a little bit of oil there to coat the pan. And depending on how hungry you are, how big you want your crab cakes to be. We'll take a good chunk here, kind of form it into a ball, and we'll kind of just flatten it out. So we got a nice little crab patty here. I'm gonna give this just a second longer to heat up. And we'll put, you want a little bit of a sizzle coming from it. I should have let it go just a little bit longer, but it'll be all right. That one will be for me. We'll form this one into the ball, get it all pattied up, add it to the pan. That one kind of, there we go. That one's in the pan. Get some more crab, crab mixture here. Really should have gotten a pedicure before this, but oh well. So you got a nice looking crab. You can see all that nice crab meat in there. We're gonna just add this to the pan. Make sure not to stick your finger in oil because that hurts. Get, get another crabby patty here. And the trick to this is you don't want to crowd your pan. So you want to make sure there's room to, you know, to flip your crab cake and, you know, get a good crust on it. So we've got another crab cake here. We've got four nice crabby patties in the pan. I need to wash my hands because we got, you know, crab stuff on it. So we're going to take a trip to the sink real quick. Getting some soap. Washing our hands. Hygiene is very safe. They're a very good thing to do. Ta -da. Hands are all clean now. If our paper towel dispenser work, there we go. Yeah, it is point of view, Brittany. I can actually see comments now too. So we got our hands all nice and clean. And we're going to start working on our remoulade sauce to go with our crab cakes. So we got, I went ahead and got my ketchup in the pan or in a bowl. Grab the remoulade recipe here. Again, if you scroll down just a little bit, you can see the nice recipe for yourself. Uh, so we need a half cup of mayonnaise using a different spatula than what we had before in my flipper for the Krabby Patties. We're gonna take a half cup of mayo. So, mayo. That's really hard to do to, through a screen. So we got our mayo here. Put that in the bowl. Get it all nice and clean. Scoop it all out. And then we need a half cup of sour cream. Working in restaurants, we used to call this scream for short. Yeah. I need a side of scream for those potato skins or some scream for my tacos. So we're putting some sour cream. Need a half cup. If, you, if you're like me, you don't really like mayo, this is why I'm doing sour cream. You could do Greek yogurt. Just make sure you get the unflavored kind because if you put vanilla or strawberry Greek yogurt in here, it's going to taste a little, little off. 
So we got our mayo, our sour cream, our ketchup. Get my tablespoon out of there. We need a tablespoon of mustard. Uh, I got spicy brown. You could do you know, plain mustard. You could do Dijon mustard. You need a tablespoon of lemon juice. A uh, tablespoon of horseradish. You want to get the jar of prepared stuff. Uh, if you have fresh horseradish in your garden, let me know. I'll come borrow some so I can have freshly grated horseradish for stuff. You need a tablespoon of that. I like horseradish, a little, little extra is fine. We're going to give our Krabby Patties a flip real quick. So we're going to take it, being careful, flip. We got a nice golden crust on that. That one kind of fell apart because I didn't squeeze it too much. That's all right. Take this one, give it a little flip as well. This last one here, give it a little flip. And in about five minutes, we'll have crab cakes ready to go. Make sure you squeeze them, you know, tightly so that way they don't kind of fall apart when you cook, but it's all right. You're going to eat the evidence if they do. Now back to our remoulade sauce. We got pickle relish. We need a tablespoon of that. And then two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. We like to call it woo sauce in the restaurants just because it's it's easier to say and you get a yell woo like Ric Flair. And Worcestershire is a little, little hard to say. Two teaspoons of hot sauce. I would use a Tabasco, Crystals, uh, Texas Pete, Frank's Red Hot type sauce for this. If you, if you really wanna use Sriracha, you can. And then we're just going to give this a big old mix up. And we'll have a nice, nice sauce here for our Krabby Patties. Sorry for the shaking. Just trying to make sure we get it all nice and mixed up. So our sauce is looking good. So that's going to be nice and yummy. Our Krabby Patties are looking great. Uh, thank you guys for all tuning in. Sorry, uh, everything's kind of shaky and new. Uh, our, my camera guy was stuck in a meeting, so we're trying out this you know, hands-free harness for me to cook with, which is kind of fun. You get to see what I get to see. And then, you know, hopefully you all enjoy it and it's not too shaky for you. But we're going to get ready to plate this. So I got a plate here with a little bit of spinach or salad greens on it. You can do whichever you like. It's going to take a little dollop of our sauce here, put it on the bottom of our plate, kind of spread it out, and that'll be a landing spot for our Krabby Patties here in a second. So we're going to take this first Krabby Patty here and kind of put it, it's really hard to do. Uh, kind of put you know half on the lettuce, half on the uh, sauce. We're going to do two because I'm hungry. I'm going to turn this pan off so we don't keep cooking. So we now we have crab cakes with our remoulade sauce. You can do a little kind of little drizzle on top too, and boom! Now we have crabby patties with remoulade sauce. Um, scroll down a little bit and you'll see that recipe. Hope you guys enjoy it. Tune in next time and we'll make something else yummy. And maybe our camera guy will be back by then so you don't have a shaky, uh, shaky video. See you guys then.